So listen, I picked up the new Urban Decay Face Bond Foundation. I'm going to tell you what I think about it. But this pink eyeshadow though, yes. So I picked up the Urban Decay Face Bond Foundation. So I got it yesterday. I tried it yesterday. I had an event to go to. I didn't have time to do the review, so that's why I'm doing it today. So my lips are a little dry. And this is the Burt's Bees Lip Balm. A lip balm. We used to call it chapstick back in the day. Now it's called lip balm. All right, so I'm gonna start with primer and I am using the NYX Shine Killer Primer. You know I have oily skin and I've been using this one for about a month and I like it. It has charcoal in it so it's black and I love products with charcoal because charcoal absorbs oil and I need all of the oil control I can get. And I really like this primer. It's super light and it feels really silky and smooth on the skin. All right, so I picked up this Urban Decay Face Bond Foundation. I got this in the shade 33 Deep Neutral. And this is my summer shade, so it's a little bit darker than my Estee Lauder, but it's gonna work for me in the summer because you know in Atlanta, it's getting hot down here already. So it has this, they call it a Precision No Mess Applicator and they say it's patent pending so it must be a huge deal according to urban decay you're only supposed to use a dot of this but this is a medium coverage foundation and i like more of a full coverage so i'm definitely going to use more than one dot so this foundation is i'm looking at the uh the, the package self-setting it has three percent niacinamide which is going to even out your skin texture and it has a can't fill coverage so they designed it to be super light it's not heavy at all and let me get some more out boom 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 okay so this applicator is a little you know you gotta have some muscles to kind of squeeze this out okay let me use my dominant hand <laughs> Jeez. There we go. You just got to put some pressure on it. And they have it in 40 shades. So I didn't have any problems finding my shade. Now it oxidizes just a little bit. Not like the Fenty, uh, what is it? Pro filter? Not like that. Not like that. But it will oxidize a little bit. So when I got this from Sephora, by the way, and when I went to the store and we did my shade match, she put it on my face and I put a couple more shades on my hand, walked around the store and let it dry down a little bit because, you know, in the, in, in the store, they always want to match your exact shade, which is what they're supposed to do. But I was looking for something a little bit deeper for my summer shade. So I tried out a couple more shades and I decided on this one. So the reason they call it face bond is because the setting powders have a formula that create an unbreakable bond with your skin. That's what they said on the website. Definitely check out the website because they have a lot of information. They have a couple videos that talk about uh, the product and some of the unique features of it. But when I wore this yesterday, it did not fade at all. It's supposed to wear for 24 hours and it, I was impressed because it did not fade at all. It looked so good at the end of the night. And the set, the built-in setting powder absorbs oil, absorbs sweat, which is great for the summertime. And it is water resistant and sweat resistant. I think I just said that. <laughs> it also blurs your pores. So it has a blurring effect. And I think that's what I love about it most. I love the way my cheeks look. And you know, I have very enlarged pores on my cheeks. So, okay, let me move on. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my brows and I'm using my Milani Weekend Brow Eye Pen in Espresso. Have y'all seen the video of P. Diddy beating Cassie in that hotel, despicable. People could say, well, you don't have the whole story. You don't know what she did, but there is no reason 
on God's green earth for a man to beat a woman like that. It's, it's inexcusable. You know, whatever happened that led up to that incident, whether she had, you know, whether she instigated it or not, she, at that moment, she was trying to remove herself from the situation and he did not allow her to do that. But you know, just like they did OJ, when he got off on the first case, <laughs> they nailed his butt to the cross for that uh, armed robbery. <laughs> They're gonna do Diddy the same way. I normally don't have an opinion on my platform about current events, right? But that one, that struck a nerve with me. I took issue with that one. All right, so now I am going to highlight my, under my brows with my MAC concealer in NW50. I hate when I get it too close to my brow because I have to go back and fix it. And you know, Diddy has never been one of, one of my favorite artists. I don't have any of his songs on my playlist. One of my girlfriends and I, this was years ago when I was an undergrad, were going in a club here in Atlanta and he was walking in at the same time and we said hey to him and he spoke back, but you know, that's the only time I've ever been in his presence. He didn't do anything to offend me or anything that night, but he's never been one of my favorites, never. They're investigating Diddy for sex trafficking and I wouldn't be surprised. And I don't know why, you know, these men get all this power and think they can just do anything they want. I hope your mama raised you better than that, dude. That, that is just unacceptable. Okay, I'm off my high horse. <laughs> off my high horse. All right, so now I am going to prime my lids with this e.l.f. Shadow Lock Eyelid Primer. This is not my favorite primer. I haven't found my favorite one yet, but this does stop my eyeshadow from creasing. And it does help my shadow last all day. All right, so for shadow, I'm using the Morphe Va Va Balloon eyeshadow palette. I am in love with this palette. I love my pinks. The only thing about the palette is it doesn't have a neutral brown in it, which is what I like to use as my all over lid color. So I'm gonna use the shade Terry from the Morphe 18 Watt Matte Essentials palette. All right, so now I'm going into the Vava Bloom palette and I'm gonna pop this color right here in the corner. So I'm putting this right in my crease and I am just going to blend that out. And then I'm going to put this shade right here. This is called Sophisticated. I'm going to apply that next on my lid. And I'm gonna blend it into this other shade at the top and on the bottom. And next I'm gonna go in with this lighter pink shade right here. This is also a shimmer color and the shade is called All Nighter. And I'm gonna use the same brush that I used for my first shimmer shade. And I want to bring this in a little bit more. I didn't put any more product on the brush. I'm just using whatever product was left over and I'm just dragging it to meet that lighter shade in the center. So a very subtle difference, but it's giving me that ombre gradient effect that I'm going for. All right, and so now I'm going to go in with my Estee Lauder eyeliner in Onyx and line my lower lash line. My lower lashes are really fine and short, so I always line my lower lash line. And for my upper lash, I'm using the NYX Epic Liner in black. And I have to be really careful lining my eyes because my Graves' disease makes my hands shake a little bit. It's not constant, but sometimes it does shake. And so doing things that are very precise like this can be challenging. And I'm gonna sweep a little bit of the e.l.f. Lash Row Mascara on my lower lash line. And I'm gonna sweep a little bit of that on the tips of 
my falsies to wipe away the shadow. You are not supposed to put mascara on these, but this is the best way I found to remove the shadow fallout. So we doing it today. All right guys, so I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade um, Deep Chestnut. I've heard great things about this camo concealer, but I wanted to make sure I got the hydrating formula because it dries to a satin finish. I tested it on the back of my hand and it didn't dry out. Like the MAC 24 hour concealer, and so I don't use my matte concealer under my eyes. It's, it's just too dry. That's a matte finish, and it will suck all of the oil <laughs> out of that area and leave it so dry and cakey. But I used a little bit of the Peter Thomas Roth uh, Instant Firm RX eye cream. This is a temporary eye tightener. I put on a little bit of this before I started this tutorial just to help tighten the fine lines under my eyes so my concealer lays smooth and it doesn't cake up when I put on my powder. And I'm gonna set that with my Laura Mercier setting powder. So now I'm gonna contour with my e.l.f. Halo Glow Contour Wand in the shade Deep. So I started using this contour wand when I decided to not use cream products on my face because I realized they make my skin oily. I was like, why is my skin so oily? Why does none of the oil control products work? I mean, what is so different about my skin than everyone else's in America, right? And I realized it was the products that I was using. And I'm using my Real Techniques Snatched and Sculpt brush, by the way. I love this brush for contouring. It just does the job. All right, so now I'm pulling out my matte concealer in NW50 to highlight the rest of my face. So this formula is mattifying, which is what I want everywhere else on my face except for under my eye. So I'm gonna let that sit just for a second and um, I'm gonna go in with my Juvia's Place bronze palette. So this is the deep dark palette that I was searching all over for a few months ago and it was out of stock everywhere. At Ulta, on the Juvia's Place website, it was out of stock every freaking where. And I went into Ulta the other day and there it was, they had it. Of course, when I'm not looking for it, they got it right there. And I just go in with this powder to set that liquid contour. All right, so for blush, I'm using the Juvia's Place blush palette. I think this is volume one. Yes, volume one. And it has that berry shade on top and the coral peach shade on the bottom, but I've been loving this peach coral shade. It just adds a hint of color to the cheeks. And it looks like there's still a little bit of that red on my brush from earlier. See, you can see it on the back side. I am definitely gonna have to wash this brush when I get done. It's a soft hint of color to the cheeks. I love it. Okay, <laughs> let me go in and blend in this uh, <laughs> concealer. Uh, and my sponge is damp, by the way. I like to wet it right before I start my makeup so it's, it's dried out enough when I'm ready to use it because I don't want to put a wet sponge on my face. And I always wring it out and squeeze it with a paper towel to get all of the excess water out. But you see what I mean about this MAC concealer? It dries down fast. I'm gonna take the edge of my sponge and blend out the edges. Uh-uh, I can see some streaks in there. Look how my nose looks chiseled. I love that. Oh. I am going to set that with my Laura Mercier setting powder. I'm gonna take my 
Real Techniques face brush and just wipe off that excess powder. Highlight right here below my contour. I'm gonna go back in with my face brush and blend that out. And I also have the e.l.f. Uh, contour wand in tan and I'm going to use this to contour my nose. Let me wipe off all of that powder. So since I stopped using cream products on my face, I can't use my Fenty contour stick, which I love. I'm having a hard time finding a good dupe for that. I'm going to wipe off my hands with my wet ones. I always keep those nearby when I'm doing my makeup for just such purposes. And that's because I'm going to use my fingers to blend out my nose contour. And I'm gonna use the Fenty Kilowatt to highlight my nose and my cheeks. All right guys, so now all I have to do is line my lips. So I'm gonna use my MAC lip pencil in chestnut and I really need to sharpen this thing. This is one of my favorite lip liners. I've been using it for years and if you use something else, let me know what other lip liner you like because I can't find one that I like as much as I like the MAC lip pencil. It's just so creamy, it glides on, and I love the shade. All right, and so for gloss, I'm using one of the glosses in the Juvia's Plays Coffee Shop collection. This one is called Mocha Chino, and it's this really uh, soft, pale pink. Mm. But it looks great with this eyeshadow because it has a little pink tint to it and it kind of lets the pink from my lips shine through. So it's just tying in the lips and the eyes it's just flawlessly. All right, so even though this foundation is self-setting, it has setting powders in it, I still have to powder my, uh, my face for oil control. So I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier translucent powder in, in medium deep. Medium deep is the shade. So I'm gonna use this to set the rest of my face. So basically all the areas where I did not highlight. All right, and the last thing I'm gonna do, well, I gotta do three more things. I gotta set, I gotta spray my face afterwards. But I'm gonna sweep a little bit of my Tinted Brightening Core Setting Powder. It has the brightening core right in the center. So it just adds a little bit of luminosity and I think it just ties the look together. All right, so I'm gonna double set my face first with the Urban Decay D-Slick setting spray and then with the Urban Decay Ultra Matte setting spray. So there is a method to the madness. I like to use the D-Slick to add an extra layer of oil control. And once that dries down, then I go in with the Ultra Matte to make sure I have that matte finish. All right, now I'm going in with the Ultra Matte. All right, guys, I am all made up with nowhere to go. But at least I brought you this tutorial. This is the finished look and I love how it all came together. Like I said in the beginning, I am obsessed with this foundation. My skin is obsessed with this foundation. I love the way it looks and feels on my face. And the fact that it has niacinamide in it, I love a complexion product that also has skincare benefits. But let me know what you think. Let's talk about it. Leave me some comments.